Yes, uh, we've seen over the uh, last couple of days actually an increase in uh, Hezbollah's attempts of sending drones uh, toward Israeli targets in the north, uh, uh, in the northern communities and the military sites that are present uh, there. Um, from what we understand from the military, all of them actually failed, including the ones that uh, were uh, were uh, launched also today. Uh, uh, we're talking about the uh, two drones launched uh, at uh, Kfar Bloom. Uh, there is a military site uh, right there and uh, the uh, military is saying that uh, they were intercepted and as a result of that uh, the sirens was heard but one more drone was sent uh, toward uh, the upper uh, Galil and the uh, military is saying that uh, the uh, incident uh, actually ended but they're not uh, mm -hmm. giving more details about what happened what was uh, uh, intercepted uh, did it uh, cause any damage uh, was there any casualties for now uh, it is uh, of course uh, uh, not, um, not, we're not allowed uh, uh, to uh, know further details about yeah. that specific incident. But from Hezbollah's side, uh, they are saying that they targeted an Israeli military site uh, near uh, uh, Kfar Malkia, and uh, also uh, they are taking responsibility for several uh, launches of rockets. One was uh, to Evin Menachem, also a sign was heard there. Uh, there was one rocket that uh, fell in uh, open terrain, and that's, uh, uh, that's from the Hezbollah side. The uh, Israeli military is saying that they targeted a building in Kfar Kila and they are giving more information about that specific incident. They're saying that uh, a drone, an observator, ob observatory drone, excuse me, uh, saw that a uh, Hezbollah member entered that building and then an airstrike targeted that specific uh, building. And uh, they're saying that the military buildings in both uh, in Naqura and Eid al were also targeting, including an observ observatory point in El Khiyam. One more uh, um, story from today we can say uh, that was a bit exceptional. The Syrian Social Nationalist Party, a party that is of course close to Hezbollah uh, because it is a Syrian national uh, party, they are saying that their uh, offices were targeted mm -hmm. and uh, completely destroyed by the Israeli military and the airstrike uh, hit the, that, that office in Kfar Kila. Uh, I can't recall any uh, incident where that uh, specific party took responsibility for any uh, launching of rockets toward Israel, but uh, of course the military can have different information and intelligence about that, and maybe that was the reason why they targeted their offices in Kfar Kila. And Bali, before we let you go, you know, uh, elsewhere in Israel, in the center, of course, but also in the south, slowly but uh, surely, um, life goes back to some sort of a routine. Uh, and yet, in the north, it's nowhere even close. And many northern residents are feeling completely abandoned with, the, with no timeline in sight for their pending uh, uh, potential return home, um, nearly six months in. Um, and still, there, there are refugees in their country without a, a due date um, to, to go back. Exactly, yes. Of course, harsh criticism we hear from the residents of the northern uh, communities in Israel toward the government. They're saying that we have no indication uh, toward uh, when we will be able to go back to our homes in the uh, north. But like, let's just face it, it's a different story. Hezbollah is a different story than Hamas. And also mm -hmm. Israel is targeting Hamas in Gaza. At some point, they will be uh, eliminated according to Israel. And then the communities of the south can go back. But it's a different story in the north where they don't want this war to expand, at least not uh, uh, during the time when Israel is actually uh, putting so much effort in the south in Gaza. So uh, no one knows what, how yeah. it will uh, will end. But what if we understand, there is no separation between these two fronts uh, from the Hezbollah point of view. So at least until the war continues in Gaza, yeah. there will be an exchange of fire also here.